So hello students. Um, I wanted to show you how Ada Wynn Lund's divine triangle might look like. So you have an idea if you're doing it right or not. So we always want to begin, of course, from A. And uh, the first name, uh, the first letter of her name is A. So A will be here, A equals one. So in your name, you will choose the first letter of your first name and look on the table value from the beginning of the course to find what the value will be. And so what you do is you go in counterclockwise, um, putting the, the value. So you see the next letter is D for Ada. You'll put D over here on this side, that equals four. Then you can see that A for Ada uh, is equal to one. And then you go to the next name, uh, Win. It's her middle name. So W is comes over here. Uh, and you can see that W is kind of different because um, with uh, with W, and you can see we put an X. Let me explain that correctly. Um, so when you come to the end of your first name, you place an X on the corner. You can see we place an X here. Uh, this marks an important time in your development. Changes will occur or a definite event will change your outlook in some way. We place an X at point D because we have completed Ada's first name. Then we continue with the power square and we place the next letter of the name, in this case W, which value is 23 fifths or 23 vibration 5 on line DE. We put the following letter Y and its value 257 over here. And on line EF, we put the next letter N and its value 14.5 on line FG. And this completes the power square, which represents the ages 27 through 54. Then we move to the wisdom square and we place the next letter of the name N and its value 14 fifths on line GH. And at this point, we place another X because this marks the end of the middle name. Remember the last name is never used on a blueprint because it is a family vibration and not uniquely your own. Therefore, when you run out of letters, you begin the first name over again if you're not done with the divine triangle yet. So in our example, we begin again with the first name, which you can see the A equals one over here. So we place the first letter of the first name, in this case A, and its value one on line HI. Place the second letter of the first name D. As you saw, we place the value A equals one from H to I in the remaining line IA we place the value D4. And then because the divine triangle is done, then that's where we stop. This completes the wisdom square, which represents ages 54 to 81. If you or whatever person you're doing the divine triangle for is older than 81, you begin again on the new square. So now that we have placed the name and birthday on the blueprint, then we add the four sides of each square for the total, which is placed in the center of the square. Always add the higher and reduced digit in the process. In the youth square, we add 1 plus 4 plus 1 plus 11. 1 plus 4 plus 1 plus 11 for the total of 17 eighths. We place the number 17 eighths in the center of the youth square. In the power square, we add 23, which is right here, remember on the W, plus 25 from the Y, 14 for the N, and 12. And we place the total 7411s in the center of the square. 7411th is a master number and is not reduced any farther. In the wisdom square, we add 14 from the end, 1 from A, 
4 from D, and then 14 for the total of 33, which is placed in the center of the square. 33 is a master number, and is not reduced any further. Now we add the three sides of the triangle, as you can see over here, for a fourth total, which is placed in the center of the triangle, always add the higher digits, 11, 12, 14. This will give us 37 ones. We place 37 dash one in the center of the triangle. And we notice that 37 one is a life lesson number. The number in the center of the triangle is always the life lesson number. So the number in the center of the youth square is an umbrella vibration that covers the period of life from birth to age 27. The number in the center of the power square is the fundamental vibration that covers the ages from 27 to 54. And the number in the center of the wisdom square is the fundamental vibration influencing the years from 54 to 81. To find out what each vibration has to offer for that period in your life, please look at the resources and read the temporary vibration delineation for that number.